Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yeah, you are. Go ahead. Ah, okay. Thank you for joining the session. And uh, is there any specific topic? Because people were talking about games. And yeah, stuff. games. Games is the Should topic. Start talking about yeah, everybody okay. has to talk on games. N now, okay. uh, you so, have been missing for some time. Now we give a topic beforehand and you come and talk on that topic. Okay. So today's topic is games, sports and games. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to sports and games, uh, it has always been a good part of my life because from my childhood, I was into athletic stuff a lot. Uh, like I'd say when I was four or five and something like that, my father used to take me to the uh, closest playground in our locality. And uh, I used to play with the seniors like, uh, how would I say like fifth standard, sixth standard students? Like I was a kid back then, but I had to play with them. So that was always been an exposure, like a great exposure of sports and athletic stuff in my life. Always wanted to uh, play cricket, you know. Wasn't that interested in football, like what do you call soccer? Used to play that sport, but wasn't that good in it. But actually, in cricket, I was more than good I would say like I have trialed in BKSP and stuff got selected came back I started studying to the national curriculum so been through a lot of hustle but uh, cricket was actually an integral part of my life uh, I was actually captained for uh, five years in my high school and also was the team captain in my uh, primary school and hope I would have been also playing cricket if I uh, choose the school in like after my end standard. But now I'm studying as a private candidate, so there isn't that much opportunity to play sports. And uh, in Dhaka, there is a lack of playgrounds. I'd say there are awesome some playgrounds, but uh, mostly are expensive and you need uh, people to play with. So uh, you can't book a playground and play alone. So that's a problem in here. So sports. Uh, it's kind of going away from my life because uh, mainly it's because of the lifestyle I'm going through. Like there is not enough time. There is like this busy schedules what I have to go through. So it kind of just didn't come along, you know, sports and this lifestyle. So, but still, as I'd say, I was always an athletic person, and also nowadays I am because when it comes to sports, uh. Nowadays, it's more over a uh, fitness type of stuff what I do, but I also do arm wrestling. So probably it can be categorized as a sport. So uh, I'm pretty good at it because I try to, like, in my coaching and stuff, then in, like, 50, 60 students, like, I've beaten all of them in first try. So also I'm pretty good at it. Like, not, like, very, very good. I have to train myself for that. And uh, many more, you need certain type of techniques to master. And also, I'm like practicing some martial arts stuff, and I think that is the thing which I love a lot. And I'm like more than cricket, maybe it's because in my childhood I used to just go into field and like the playground. I used to play with my friends and the whole day. Uh, I used to like dedicate myself to cricket, but now that it's more like uh, martial art oriented and stuff, but. I think as sports and games, those are, are those are a thing which you should include in your life because uh, they can play a good role to uh, maximize your fitness and also uh, there there's been some surveys and research when when you uh, are in a competitive sport for men, it actually increases your testosterone, which helps you to build muscle and. Uh, actually helps you to stimulate uh, brain power in some ways and uh, gets you motivated all the time. So I would say everybody should have a passion about sports and stuff and they should be active uh, before a certain age uh, in games and sports. And uh, that's it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, everybody.